hey guys welcome back in this video i'm gonna show you how to crochet this beautiful table runner it's a very simple square pattern and we are connecting all together so first i'm gonna show you how to crochet this square let's get started for this project i'm using my all-time favorite nature cotton yarn and 2.5 millimeter crochet hook so let's begin with the slip knot Now from here work chain 8 Now you have to do is just make a slip stitch into the very first chain and make a circle From now we're going to work into this circle so work chain four this four chains counting as a double crochet and a chain so now work a double crochet into the same space here now work chain one and work another double crochet into the same space Again work chain 1 and work another double crochet into the same space. All you have to do is just continue like this till we have 12 double crochets in total. Now we did 4 double crochets so we need more 8 double crochets. So here we made 11 double crochets with that first chain 3 total 12 double crochets. Last work chain 1. And make a slip stitch into the third chain from that first chain 4. So here we done our first row. Now let's move to the second row. For that you have to skip into the very first chain space here. So make a slip stitch into that space. Now from here work chain 3, this chain 3 counting as our first double crochet. Now here we are going to work a cluster, for that yarn over, grab the yarn from the chain space and pull through 2 to unfinish it, again yarn over, grab the yarn and pull through 2. Now we have 3 loops on our hook, now yarn over, pull through all. So here we made a cluster, it's a 3 double crochet cluster, from here work chain 3 and make another cluster into the next chain space here so for that start work a double crochet but don't finish it again yarn over start work another double crochet again don't finish it and again work another double crochet but don't finish it so now we have total four loops on our hook now yarn over pull through all so this is the our next three double crochet cluster now from here work chain 3 and work another 3 double crochet cluster into the next chain space here. All you have to do is just continue like this making 3 double crochet clusters in each chain space and in between you have to work 3 chains. So here we made our 12 3 double crochet clusters. Now last work chain 3 and make a slip stitch into the top of that cluster, first cluster. So here we completed our second row. Now let's move to the third one. So for that you have to skip into that very first chain 3 space make a slip stitch now work chain one and make a single crochet into the same space now from here work chain five now make a single crochet into the next chain three space here From here work 7 chains, this is our first corner.
I'll make a single crochet into the next chain 3 space here. I'm um, sorry guys, I left a video footage here, but it's okay, I'll explain from this PDF pattern. As per this pattern, next you have to work chain 5 and work a single crochet into the next chain 3 space and work another chain 5 and again work a single crochet into the next chain 3 space. Now you have to work 7 chains. This is our second corner. I think you got to know how to crochet this row and just continue like this till the end. So here I'm gonna work the fourth corner. So work seven chains. Now work a single crochet into the next chain three space. And now from here work chain five. Now here we're gonna join this row with a slip stitch into the very first single crochet here. So here we completed our third row. Now let's move to the last row. So you have to do is skip into that chain 5 space. Make a slip stitch into the very first chain 5 space. Now from here work chain 1 and make a single crochet into the same space. Now we're gonna work into these corners. So for that you have to work 7 double crochets into that 7 chain space. Now here work chain 4. Now we're going to work a slip stitch like this, insert hook from these two loops and make a slip stitch. So here again we're going to work 7 double crochets into the same space. Okay, this is our first corner. So now we're going to work a single crochet into the next chain 5 space here. Now from here work chain 5. Now work a single crochet into the next chain 5 space here. And from here work 7 double crochets into that chain 7 space. So in this place we're going to work 4 chains and join with a slip stitch. Now continue work 7 double crochets into the same space. Now make a single crochet into the next chain 5 space and work 5 chains and again make a single crochet into the next chain y space so all you have to do is just continue like this till the end and let's meet at the end so here we reach the last now i made chain 5 and we're gonna make a slip stitch into that first single crochet here Okay, here we done our square, so now chain 1 and cut off the yarn. Yeah. 
so this is it this is how it looks like our square so next you have to work like this square and join all together into these corners now let's see how to make that so here i made another square i worked till the last row and i finished the first corner and i work halfway into the second corner now from here work chain two now grab the project and insert the hook from a corner insert the hook from this chain for loop and grab the yarn now make a slip stitch now from here work more two chains now as usual you have to insert the hook from this two loop and make a slip stitch now continue work seven more double crochets into the same space so here we made our seven double crochets now make a single crochet into the next chain five space now from here work chain two now take the other square and we're gonna join into that chain five space so you have to find the middle chain from that chain 5 and now drop the yarn and insert the hook from that middle chain. Obviously it's the third chain so insert the hook from that third chain and grab the yarn and pull through that chain. Now from here work chain 2. Now make a single crochet into the next chain 5 space and continue work 7 double crochets into the next chain space. Now in this place we're gonna join into the next square. So for that make chain 2 and insert the hook from that chain 4 loop and grab the yarn. Now from here work chain 2. Now join this loop inserting with that 2 loops and make a slip stitch. So from here you have to complete this row as before we turn and let's meet at the end. So here we join 2 squares together and let's see how to join the third one. So here as before I finish up with last row with the second corner. Now start with the same pattern. So if you see we have to join into this middle so for that work chain 2 so now insert the hook from that middle space and grab the yarn and work two chains so from here you have to complete this as for the same pattern and let's meet at the end.
So here we're going to join the fourth square into the middle. So we have to insert the same space that we joined before and grab the yarn and from here work chain 2. And again you have to complete this row as for the same pattern and let's meet at the end. So here we joined four squares together and this is how it looks like. It's super easy to make and you can make any size you want joining with many squares together. And this is how my big project is looks like. And if you like, you can attach four tassels into four corners, but I didn't. So hope you like this video. If you like, give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. See you soon.